What's up everybody, welcome to the video, no time to waste in this one. You're gonna see a lot of action, a lot of different stuff is gonna go down. I got a new crankbait rod, Dobbins Fury 705 CB. I got a new crankbait rod, that new flat banger from the Guggen Squad. Everybody's been talking about the new baits, the new hard baits, all the new uh, products that the Guggen Squad has been coming out with and I grabbed one piece of gear to try from them, the $8 flat banger, flat sided, square bill crankbait from the Guggen Squad and I'm gonna go out there and see if we can catch our first fish ever on the new 705 CB and the flat banger from the Guggen Squad. We're also going to throw a chatterbait around. We're going to hammer some fish. It's going to be a great time. And you're even going to get to see me whine and cry with a little bit of heartache. So without further ado, man, I hope you guys enjoy the video. We're going to head right out onto the water. And you guys are going to see me on the boat fishing right now. Look what I got. Two new toys that you guys haven't seen yet. Second cast ever with the new Guggen Baits crankbait. What do we got here? A guad. Only fitting. First catch ever. Look what they're down there eating though. You see in his mouth? Crawfish. Thanks for the tip, buddy. Ooh, let me go ahead and get him unhooked before he gets me hooked. Got some rollers coming in here. Get back out away from the rocks. Dude, well, that's sort of promising, huh? Second cast ever with the Guggen Baits. Flat banger. All right, let's get this little dude back in the water. Later, buddy. That's pretty gnarly to get one on the second cast ever. One of the reasons I'm out here filming today to show you guys the new Dobbins Fury 705 CB crankbait rod that I've added to the arsenal of Dobbins Fury rods that we have here on the boat. And I also picked up the new Guggen Squad flat banger crankbait. I just grabbed one, $8 a piece, wanted to get one to try it out. Second cast ever, that little guad hammered it. So, so far, the new 705 CB and the flat banger from Guggen Baits getting the job done so far. Nice, let's see if we can get another one. All right, so like I said, guys, I am out here fishing with the new crankbait rod, Dobbins Fury 705 CB, and the new Guggen flat banger crankbait, the new hard baits from Guggen Squad, Guggen Bait. Everybody knows, you know the deal. I saw that they uh, showed up at my local tackle store, so I decided to grab one, see what was up. Second cast, smashed one, so that's what's up. I just heard fish explode over here in front of me. All right. One bite so far on the uh, on the Guggen baits. Throw a swim jig for a minute. Hit some of these crevasses with the swim jig. Nice. Ooh, they're over there busting. Right where he said they'd be. So I had a buddy give me a tip, said they were over here eating. So I'm gonna go over here, try to hit the same spot he was fishing, see if I can get him a couple to eat from me. Hung up again. Next cast, hung up. It's good times getting hung up two casts in a row by the rocks. I can get it back, I can get it back. I lost the side. I can get it back, I can get it back. Name that movie. Oh, I see my swim jig. I see my swim jig, dude. By the power of the almighty. Got eyes on her, dude. All right. Nice. All right. Nice. First cast. Oh, he came off. No, he's still on there. He's running. He's running towards me. He's still on there. Come on, buddy. It's a nice fish. 
Boom, first cast with a drop shot. Decent largey. Boom. There it is. I don't even think I had time to hit the ground. He smashed it. And if you look in this fish's gullet, there's a crawdad. Look at this. Look at that. Crawdad in that fish's mouth. <laughs> Just pulled that out of there. Isn't that gnarly? I'm going to get back down there. I think I got to get on a uh, bandito bug. It is going to be the way. What I need to do here is Put this crawfish back in this fish's mouth. Get him unhooked. Look at that, isn't that not gnarly? That is too cool. All right, let's let him go with this crawfish. Later, dude. First cast on the drop shot, but that makes me want to tie on a bandito bug, dude. Let's see if I can get another one on the drop shot real quick right here. But if not, we'll throw that bandito on and it'll be on on. There we go, nice. Oh no, that's up something on the ground. Dang, I don't even want to move the boat. Come on, I thought I had a bite. Lucy know what they're down there eating. That's two in a row that we caught with crayfish in their mouth. Crawdads, crayfish, whatever you want to call them. This one is not coming up, boys. <clears throat> Maybe it is coming up. Look at that, I got the whole dang tree up. I was like, it feels like it's moving. Ugh. Look at that. Caught up in the brush pile. It's a good thing to have down there though. Oh man, got some crud on my boat. That sucks, bro. Come on. Dito time. It's two fish in a row. Eating the crawfish. That's too much of a clue, man. It's too big of a, a raging clue. Oh shit, we're too close to the wall. Gotta get out of here, man. They are down there eating on bugs. They're down there and they're eating on bugs. Come on up, Steve. We're spitting on bugs. What movie is that from, guys? Name that flick. All right. Time to rig up Big Daddy Bandito on the TR. Green Pumpkin Tungsten, unpegged. Gamakatsu 4 aught EWG standard wire hook, not the super line. I'm fishing with fluorocarbon. I'm going to use an improved clinch knot with eight wraps. Three, four, five, six seven and eight for troy aikman back in the day through that bottom loop back up through the big loop pull it tight wet your knot real quick cinch your on down pull your tag in tight clip your tag boom you're ready we're matching the hatch boys right here this is what they're eating these red colored texas crawfish two fish in a row pulled up that had orange crayfish in their mouth so i'm putting on the Guggenbaits Bandito Bug, Big Daddy Bandito, four inch crayfish imitation on a Texas rig, not pegged, switching it up from the drop shot. See how many different baits we can catch a fish on while we're out here. Big Daddy Bandito, come on. There we go, nice. Oh, he came off. That was definitely a bite right there. Dang. Well, dang it, boys. I got my TR and my Hungston. My Hungston. My TR. I got my Tungsten and my, I got my whole thing snagged. This is not good. Got it. All right. Got my crankbait rod rigged back up. Saw some fish come up here on the surface, start busting. Tried to get over here and get after them, but couldn't get them to eat it. Got broke off on my uh, other setup over here as well, so I need to get this rigged back up. I have no idea what I'm going to throw on here. Got an idea, man. I think I know what I want to throw. Let's throw that expensive piece, man. Where's she at? There she be. Z-Man Jackhammer. Still trying to get me an official Z-Man Jackhammer chatterbait fish. Bladed jig fish. Not just a, oh, 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 cameras are dying. I'll be back.
Boom, he came out and hammered it. Nice fish. First ever Z-Man jackhammer chatterbait, bladed jig fish, whatever you want to call it. He came out from under that dock and smashed it too. That was awesome. That's the bait number four. Couldn't get him to eat the swim jig, but he ate the chatterbait. That's what I'm talking about, man. Let's get you one hook, buddy. He came out and pow, hit it like a freight train. Boom, nice. Smacking out here too. Let's get us another one. Later, buddy. Good stuff, man. Checking them off the list today. Got the first ever fish on the Guggen Baits flat banger, new crankbaits from the Guggen Squad. First ever fish on Z-Man Chatterbait. This is a 3 8 ounce jackhammer with a Zoom Salty Super Fluke as a trailer. Boom, just throwing it up into these pockets around these docks. He came out and smashed it with the Fury. Let's go. There he is. Nice. Boom. Another one on the chatterbait by these docks, man. That's what's up. Oh, that one got me, bit me hard there. Perfect hook set in the roof of the mouth. Jackhammer fish, baby. Nice. Boom. Right there in that little pocket. Came out and smashed it. I bet you there's one over here in this next one too. Instagram, baby. Make sure you follow me over there at the Justin Royal. Post the Instagram every day, all the time. There's another one on the chatterbait, man. Over here around these boats at the marina. Smashing. Later, bud. Yeah, like I said, at the Justin Royal on Instagram. I'd appreciate a follow. I'm trying to hit 4,000 followers over there. I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing. Rolling along here, hitting these little corners and pockets. See if I can dry out a bite on the chatterbait, man. Too much fun. They really want this thing. When they eat it, they are hammering it, dude. Unleashing the fury, boy. Furious Pete over here. This thing skips like magic, dude. <clears throat> the skipping on this chatterbait is just phenomenal. Good times, man. Caught them on a multitude of different baits. What's up? Having fun fishing this chatterbait though, so. Oh man, that skippage on that chatter. That jackhammer. I say chatterbait. It's really it's the jackhammer, you know, the real, the real deal. The $22 mumbo jumbo. I got it on sale at Dick's. I think they were like 17 bucks. So that was a win. I grabbed two of them. This one out here doing work around these docks. Let's go. Come on, I need another eater. I need another Peter Peter pumpkin eater. Let's go. Peter Peter chatterbait eater. Come on. There he is. Nice. Oh, it's a better fish. Yes. Boom. Number three on the chatterbait. And that's a chunk right there. He trying to get me. He trying to hook me so bad. Oh, and he came off. Nope, nope, stay in the boat. You're in the boat. You're mine, buddy. This is what fish do when they get in the floor. They flop. Yeah, that's the nicest one of the day. Decent little chunk right there by this boat. They're smashing on the chatterbait, dude. That is what is up, man. Chatterbait chunks. Let's get it, man. Smashing. Let him go. Let's do it again, dude. Let's do it again. Right there is what they're eating, man. He came out and smashed it. Right from under that boat where he was supposed to be in that corner. No issue, dude. He wanted it. Yep. I'm just finding these fish tucked away in these little pockets. Making a... Uh, I was gonna say super accurate targeted casts. <laughs> Making as accurate of casts as I can into these little pockets. 
And these fish are just hiding out in the shade, waiting for something to ambush. And they are loving this jackhammer chatterbait, dude. Three in a row. Eating over here. Just casting up into every one of these little pockets that I can get to, guys. Everything that I see that looks like a target. It looks like it might be a little fish hiding in there. Could be a little spot of shade. Piece of cover. Somewhere nice for him to just hide up. Oh, look at that chatterbait in the water. Ooh, ooh, it looks so good. Somewhere nice for that fish to just tuck up into and hide. That's where I'm trying to make my cast. And it's paying off for me, guys. That thing looks so good. When you give it a little action, give it little twitches, it darts back and forth. I mean, this jackhammer is the real deal. There is a difference between this and the normal chatterbaits. The Z-Man chatterbait, the cheaper one. This one right here just... Oh, man. Gosh, if you guys can see that. It looks different in the water, man. It just looks like a little school of fish. Take long over here on the chatterbait. Second or third cast, he came up and smashed it. It's a little dink, but I'll take him on that jackhammer. That's what's up. Shout out to YouTube. Everybody go sub the YouTube channel and see this video that I'm making right now. Let's go. That didn't take long. First bite in a while right there. Monster Basco wants to go live. Let's see what they want to go live. What's up, dude? What's going on, man? You see it? You know the deal? You know the deal, bro. I got like six or eight. Yeah. How you doing today, man? What video are you trying to make? Uh, a couple different ones, man. A couple different ones. Was uh, I got a new crankbait rod, so I was out here filming on that. And then uh, catching a lot of jackhammer fish, man, on that $22. So um, it's actually kind of turned into a jackhammer video. Yeah, yeah. Love your oh, yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Hey, brother, I, I appreciate you uh, tapping in with me here while I was out here on the water, man. It's good chatting with you. Yeah, man, likewise. Yeah, we'll have, to, we'll, have to, we'll have to chop it up again sometime, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate likewise. it. All right, brother. Later on, dude. Well, that was cool. Don't have stuff like that happen too often, so that was neat. See him showing some interest in what I got going on over here. And there we go. Just... Just a, just a little bit too late on the, or too early on the departure. Look at this guad, man. Look at this chunky guad. Dude. <laughs> that is a fat guad. Nice, dude. Chunky, fat Guadalupe bass on the swim jig, man. Switched it up a little bit. He hit it right up there shallow. They weren't eating the, uh, the jackhammer, so I started throwing that little Strike King swim jig. Dude, that guad smashed it. There we go. Shout outs to uh, Monster Bass Co. for uh, giving me a little mojo out here. That's what's up. Fish number 10 on the day, probably. Kiyo. I pretty much cast it onto the, the bank and he hit it as soon as it hit the water. Slurped it. It was in his mouth. I didn't even realize what was going on. Just set the hook, boom. Guads are mean, boy. Yeah, he rolled out just a moment too soon, man. Would have been able to catch that. There's another one. Oh, it's a nicer fish. Come on. Oh, look at that fish, dude. Oh, man, that was a monster. You guys didn't see that fish. Oh, look at that fish. Oh. 
I got it on the GoPro. She flew out of the water and spit it. Man, that was a donkey. That was a donkey. Oh, man. That was a donkey, dude. Big fish just come off right there. Get over it. Get back after it. I can't believe that. Damn, that was the fish of the day right there. Y'all were about to see some smoke if I'd have got that one to the boat. That was a fatty. Oh, man. Straight donkey right there. Oh, man. She's not going to eat again. I wish you guys could have seen that fish. Oh, my God. I had her. She was coming. She just jumped and spit it. Nothing I could do. Damn. That was a heartbreaker right there. That was a big fish. She was fat. Dang. That's brutal. That would have been the fish right there, guys. That would have been the fish, man. Shut up. Get over it. God. Dang. Fat girl's breaking my heart out here, man. Oh man, I hate to have to end the video on a heartbreaker like that, but unfortunately, they stopped eating for me and I ran out of daylight. I know it probably didn't look like it to you guys on the GoPro, but trust me, that was a fatty. That was a certified donkey right there, man. That fish, oh, dude, I horse fish. I set hooks all the time, you know what I mean? I eat a bunch of these dinks up out of these waters around here. When they stop me like that, like a brick wall, that's when I know, dude. When they stop me like that, dude, and I'm stuck, and it feels like I'm hung up, that's when you know, bro, that's a good fish. And then, when they come off, jump, and then I got eyes on her, oh my God. You guys saw my reaction, man. You saw my reaction out there on the boat. I left it all in, so you guys could just sit there and watch me piss and moan about that fish getting away until it got dark and I had to go put the boat on the trailer. And that's how that day ended right there. But before that, we had a lot of fun, man. We got a lot of things done in this video, man. We tested out the new 705 CV from Dobbins, a new crankbait rod, loving it so far. We caught the first fish ever on the new Guggen Squad flat banger square bill crankbait. A nice little chunky guad, hammered it. So check that off the list. Smashed the fish on the drop shot real quick. And then quickly after we switched it up to the chatterbait, started running that chatterbait around the marinas. And boom, boom. Boom, jack three in a row. That was awesome. Made a little rip to the other end of the lake. Caught a couple more fish. Got to chop it up with Monster Basco. Shout outs to Monster Basco for hopping on the Instagram live with me. You guys saw a little segment there where I was doing a little bit of Instagram living with all of my Instagram followers. If you're not already following me on Instagram, as I said earlier in the video, make sure you guys go over there and do that so you can be a part of the lives when I'm out there fishing on the boat, broadcasting live on Instagram, interacting with all the followers over there on IG. It's a good time. But yeah, like I was saying, shout outs to Monster Bass for showing interest in my videos and hopping in the live with me for a few minutes that was cool so i left that in the video for you guys to see as well and shout out to you if you're watching brother i appreciate the love and the kind words out there on the water <gasps> yeah they were still eating the chatterbait all the way up until it got dark speaking of the chatterbait i want to know your guys honest opinion would you pay 22 dollars for one bait <gasps> for one piece of tackle is that too much? Is that over the line? Would you guys pull the trigger on one of those jackhammers to try for yourself? Did the video convince you? Make sure you go down below and let me know in the comments what you are gonna do and if you think it's crazy for somebody to pay $22 for a jackhammer. I think it's crazy. I think it's nuts and I don't think that I could see myself constantly replacing jackhammers. That's why I'm gonna be super careful with those baits. And while I'm in this mode of asking you guys questions and requesting feedback from my viewership here on YouTube, I need you guys to answer one more question for me. Do you guys like the longer or the shorter videos? Sometimes I put out videos that are closer to the 15 minute mark. Sometimes I put out videos that are closer to the 30 minute mark. It's usually more along the lines of like 18 minutes, 27 minutes. You guys, make sure you let me know in the comments which you like better. Do you like the quicker videos, maybe like 20 minutes and under? Or are you cool with the longer form stuff when I throw up a half hour video? Is that cool with you? Is that more like a traditional episode of like uh, something you would watch on TV? That's kind of like how I feel when I see a longer video now. I don't really care if it's a 30 minute video on YouTube. I think that's becoming the norm. I watch a whole bunch of longer form videos myself. So when I'm doing these edits now, if the video gets up above 20 minutes, I sort of just keep letting it run and however long the video is is however long the video ends up being but if you guys over here who have helped me get to where I am now want to see shorter videos it's something I'll consider doing more of in the future that's gonna wrap this one up man we got to end it on the heartache the fat one got away but we caught a bunch of fish in this video man make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're interested in joining me in any more of my fishing adventures out there on the water throw me a thumbs up if you like the video and make sure you go down below in the comments answer all the questions I asked you give me some feedback leave me a comment negative or positive I don't care I love interacting with you guys over here on YouTube but that is gonna do it for now I hope everybody has a 
a great day and I will see you guys on the next one. Uh.